Uh, well, good morning students, because this will of course be shown in the morning in Tutor Reflections. Delighted to be once again back in the Virgin Money offices in Gosforth with, I'm sure no stranger to many of you, Mr. Carl Morgan, who is the Structural Liquidity Manager here at Virgin Money. I'm sure I've got that right, Carl, yeah, uh, yeah, in terms yeah. of your uh, title. So, ladies and gents, you will all be aware that the Citizenship Programme requires you to have some knowledge of money and the financial markets and I thought what better than to go and ask Carl if he could give us a little bit of a lead on that and a little bit of a steer. So in the course of the next few weeks we're going to be showing you uh, a series of videos all about the money market and the finance markets and Carl is going to help me to explain those to you. So first of all thank you very much for agreeing to do this Carl. Yeah, no problem. A great supporter of the college as ever. So today, Carl, we're going to start with the basic functions of money. And that brings us neatly then, Carl, on to the third uh, function, which is, of course, that money acts as a store of value. So in terms of the store of value, what would you sort of uh, say on that one? Well, store of value would relate more to what you actually do with that working capital that you hold. So the, the excess that we talked about before, the thousand pounds that could be sitting in your bank account, you can invest it into a, an ISA, uh, which is a tax-free savings account that will pay you a rate of interest on over the course of the year. Or if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can go into higher risk investment, which I've been reliably informed that some of you have, and you've uh, dabbled in a bit of Bitcoin. Yes. So you know, feel free to uh, you know deposit some of that with Virgin Money if you'd like, or you know buy yourself a new Ferrari, depending on how much you've made from it. And well, they have done quite well, there, <laughs> Carl. So yeah, no, congratulations to those who uh, who have, and hopefully you've got a, a good taste for it, uh, and you continue to you know get plenty of success from that. Um, but in, in essence, people will make that money work for them, and they'll put it into uh, trusts or investments that will pay them a rate of interest over a short term or long term period of time, just depending on what that investment vehicle is that they choose to go for. And. Uh, money sterling, of course, does tend to hold its value, unlike other currencies. Um, you know, it's quite safe, isn't it? A bit of a safe haven currency in that respect. Um, and of course, some people might put the money into gold as well. Yeah, particularly absolutely. In times of crises. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we as a bank um, are, are restricted somewhat in terms of what we can invest in and what we can hold. Metals uh, tend to be seen as more on the risky side, but if we were to invest.